Updating breaking news in West Hartford this morning on that serious crash that closed down multiple roads there. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Audrey Russo is live at the scene this morning right by Albany Avenue with the latest for us. So Audrey, what do we know about what happened there? Well, Wendell, Caitlin, I'm right at the intersection of Baton and Albany. The road is a little bit cl uh, closed off, but West Hartford police did walk us through what they say happened here this morning. Over here to my right, where you see that flashing cop car, that's close to the University of St. Joseph. They say that there was a shooting around 2.30 this morning in a parking area. So crews went their way over there to try to investigate what happened and they came across a rollover car accident on Albany Ave. Now that happened to my left over here. It's a little bit tough to see, but beyond those trees, there was a rollover car crash and police tell us that they found one person suffering from serious injuries. That person was transported to the hospital. No word on that person's condition, but police believe these two things could be related. So right now, Albany Avenue is closed down between Prospect and Colony. So if you have to head out in this area, know that that uh, three-quarter mile stretch of roadway is going to be closed this morning. Police actually don't know when it's going to reopen because this is an active investigation. They say it's a pretty large scene. Uh, asylum at Steel Street is also closed off. So that's just another area that you need to be aware of this morning if you're headed out in the West Hartford area. They're asking for people's patience this morning and for their cooperation. If you saw anything, if you've got a ring camera, something that may have picked up either uh, an incident related to the shooting or to the car crash, you're asked to reach out to West Hartford police. They were out here earlier this morning with flashlights, scanning for evidence, using some equipment to try to just piece together what happened here. But again, there was a rollover crash and a shooting incident in the parking area of the University of St. Joseph's. Police believe the two to be related. We're going to continue to follow up on this. But for now, that's what we've got here in West Hartford. Audrey Russo, back to you.